Well, some new information on the economy today. 386,000 Americans filed for unemployment in the latest week. That number continues to go up, as we've seen over the last several weeks. Now take a look at the housing market. We have new news on foreclosure activity. Uh, foreclosure activity jumped last month, up 9%. Big questions about the housing recovery and what's ahead. Joining us now, Robert Borisage, the founder and president of the Institute for America's Future and the co-director for the campaign for America's Future. And Peter Schiff, president of Euro Pacific Capital and author of the book, The Real Crash. America's coming bankruptcy, how to save yourself and your country. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Pleasure to be Thank here. You. Now, we have two big campaign speeches coming up today, uh, both of them supposed to be on the economy. When we see numbers like this, and we keep on seeing numbers like this, Bob, one has to question what we're hearing about there being no new ideas presented by either side when it comes to the economy. It, are there any new ideas out there that the American people should be asking for? <laughs> Well, I think there's some new bad ideas out there that the American people want uh, to avoid. Ah, but that's not the question, Bob. That's not but the on question. Terms of, in terms of getting the economy going, uh, I think there's been a set of ideas put out. It's just we have gridlock here in Washington and a Republican Congress that's intent on doing nothing, as far as we can tell. Republican Congress, Peter. If the Republican uh, Congress was different, would yeah. things be better? Well, I doubt it. I mean, first of all, there, there's no doubt that the president was dealt a bad hand. But it's not Bush's fault that he played that hand as poorly as he did. In fact, Obama was a senator before he was president, so he helped to stack that deck. You know, he needs to correct the mistakes of the Bush administration, not expand so on them. So how do you them. do that, Unfortunately, Peter? that's what he's doing. You know, I tried to bring some new ideas to Capitol Hill a week ago today. I testified before Congress, and I tried to bring the idea of capitalism, of free markets, to, to Capitol Hill, and I was shot down. I mean, so if you want to see what happened, just go to YouTube. Do you think free markets Peter are a Schiff, new idea, you know, goes to Washington and look at what happens when you try to bring common sense to Washington, D.C. Bob, hold on. Hold your thought for one second, Bob. I just want to know specifically what Peter, when you said you're trying to bring capitalism back to Washington, D.C., can you give us a specific about something that you recommended that you'd like to see? Well, I was there. I wanted them to get out of the housing market. Can you believe that these guys in Congress, after what Freddie and Fannie did to single-family housing, they want to do the same thing with apartments. They want the government to guarantee securitized mortgages on apartment buildings. I mean, the worst thing you can possibly do, yet they're about to do it. And they had a bunch of industry lobbyists lining up to try to eat at the public trough. And I was there representing the taxpayer, trying to say enough is enough. And they didn't want to hear anything. They were just ridiculing me and shooting me down. And so, they're not open to new ideas. They just want to rehash the same failed socialist policies that have been pursued for years in this country. You know, uh, President Obama wants to keep criticizing George Bush. Then why does he keep following his playbook? Why does he have the same borrow and spend, regulate tax, and print agenda that Bush had? So why Bob, don't we have maybe, some real maybe, new ideas maybe, in Washington? The problem because that everyone, the ones that Obama on, wants to implement on, Peter. don't let, work. Let me get Bob's thoughts on this. Bob, I'm sure you disagree with a lot of things that Peter is saying there, but it is one of the problems that everyone's just too much the same. At this point, there's a too thin of a line that divides everybody when it comes to economic philosophy. Look, uh, we have a huge difference in economic philosophy in Washington now, and uh, Peter's one of the few people in America or in the world who would think George Bush was a socialist. Um, <laughs> the reality is uh, you've got an economy that's laboring from the worst financial cr collapse uh, since the Great Depression. It was caused in the private sector, not the public sector. Uh, and you have people uh, facing, uh, you know, massive losses. The Fed just came out with their report, showed that uh, from 2007 to 2010, families lost 40% uh, right. of their wealth. That's most, mostly in the value of their homes. Their wages are so down. Bob, we have what do we do? Bob, hold on, Peter. What do, we do? Uh, what do we do, Bob? If there's one thing that you could say we have to do today that either President Obama or Mitt Romney can champion, what is the number one thing we should do to get better numbers than the things that we saw this morning on the job market and on housing? Look, we have to put people to work. And the only way we're going to put people to work is to, is to actually do it and the question is, who does it? CEOs have a lot of money. Corporations have record profits. They are not doing it. So how do you and get the reason them they're to not do doing it? Is, is consumer, They don't have any consumers. So what we ought to do is take advantage well, of the market. The market will now lend us money cheaper than free 
to the U.S. government. Uh, we had to borrow that money and we had to use it to rebuild the country. We have uh, massive wait, wait, needs wait, wait. for so internal investment. we have the rope, we should hang ourselves we have with it? I mean, first we have of all, George wait, 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 Bush let me just finish my point, Peter. Let me just finish my point. Unfortunately, Guys, we did. We need Peter, to get back. Peter, let me back. just finish we the point. We need productive jobs created Peter, by the private sector. This is an sector, example. We're not really not going to get jobs when it comes to jobs. Now you know why we can't get anything done in Washington. Hold on a second, Peter. We're not going to be able to hear anything. Our viewers are going to get very frustrated if if none of us can talk. Peter, I'm going to give you the final thought, but Bob, you weren't done, so just finish that up, and Peter, uh, you can respond, and, and then, then we can hear John talk. Go ahead, Bob. We have, we have a construction industry that's totally on it, flat on its back. We have massive internal needs for improvements, and we can borrow money okay. cheaper than free. So, Peter, Why not do it? Bob says borrow now. It's cheaper. It's the only time we're going to see money like this. We can put that money right into infrastructure and get people to work. Why do you not agree with that? No, so Basically, so there's free heroin. We should use it. He's, he's advocating what Greece did. Greece borrowed a lot of money when it was cheap. They spent it on government, and then interest rates went up, and they're broke. The same thing is going to happen to us. If we take advantage of all this cheap money and go into debt and squander it on more government and more consumption, this whole economy is going to collapse. And unfortunately, that is what's going to happen. That's the subject of my book. That's why it's called The Real Crash, because it's coming, because we're repeating all the mistakes of the past. We're learning nothing. Peter and Bob, I hope you both will come back and talk more about this. I feel like we just got on the surface. There was a heroin reference. There was, I mean, I don't know where else it could possibly go, but we look forward to having you both. Thank you very George much. George Bush is socialist. Take care. <laughs>